This morning, the Panama Canal, a critical trade route for the U.S., is in the middle of a major traffic jam. More than 130 ships are currently stuck on either side of the canal, with some vessels waiting for weeks to enter. So what's behind the pileup? An ongoing drought and extreme weather conditions that authorities say have no historical precedent. We are managing water resources and waiting for some rainfall to come. The canal is estimated to use triple the amount of water as New York City each day, which means rainfall is key to replenish and operate the waterway. Earlier this month, authorities capped daily transits across the canal to 32 vessels, down from an average of 36 under normal conditions. Most of the ships caught in the backlog are bulk cargo or gas carriers, with many of them headed straight to U.S. ports with popular goods. Most of the things you find uh, at Walmart, Costco, Sam's Club, Target, these ships are so humongous in size that they can be up to four or five times the length of a football field. The U.S. is the largest user of the Panama Canal, representing 73 percent of its traffic, totaling about $270 billion in cargo each year. But the low water levels are now taking a toll. Recent restrictions on the canal, including added premiums on heavier ships, are forcing many companies to transport fewer items, potentially leading to emptier shelves and higher prices in stores nationwide. That snowball effect will impact goods that you thought would be here in August, may arrive September, September and October, and that could lead to a small increase in price. The bottleneck in Panama, reminiscent of previous delays at other major shipping routes. In 2021, a massive container ship completely blocked the Suez Canal in Egypt for days, bringing traffic to a standstill. Later that year, an unprecedented supply chain crisis left dozens of vessels waiting to unload their cargo in the busy ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, right near the holiday season. While the current drought in Panama could require weeks, if not months, of additional rainfall to get the canal back up and running like normal, experts say there should be no reason to worry about a shipping Grinch this Christmas. The average um, holiday present that people expect to put under a tree, most of that stuff will be here when you need it. So then, Vicki, what consumer items can we at least expect uh, to be impacted by this pileup? Yeah, Chanel, so because of the weight restrictions that are in place at the Panama yeah. Canal, experts say it's the heavier things, like the refrigerators, mm -hmm. the washers, dryers, even raw goods like countertops and uh, flooring, that will take up to an extra month to arrive. Mm -hmm. When it comes to your everyday goods, like groceries, the good news here, a lot of the big box retailers have like sturdy, strong supply chains, yeah. and so they should still be able to keep us well stocked. But the longer this pileup goes, the huh. more likely we may have to pay more. I mean, doesn't it feel like, though, this is happening far more often than it used to? Well, that Suez Canal situation yeah. back yeah. in the day, but you talk about weather, climate yeah. change, you know, they just haven't had the rain, and if you don't have the water levels, yeah. the ships can't go. <laughs> yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Fine.